Welcome back. In this video, we're going to set up your domain hosting service, and we're going to do that by using triple zero webhost.com. What I need you to do is navigate in your browsers to 000 webhost.com. Once the page loads, you should see something like what we have here. Go ahead and click Get Started. We're going to choose the free web hosting tier and select Free Sign Up. Now, I already have a couple of different accounts. So, in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and use a Hotmail account. And as you can see here, I have to choose a image of a horse for to validate that I'm not a robot. Now, as you can see here, it's telling me that it sent a confirmation email to my email address. So what you're going to need to do is open up that email and do the confirm. And I'm going to do that now on another device. And once you finish that, We'll continue the, the video. Okay. As you can see, I've finished verifying on mine. So go ahead and click Let's Create Some Magic. And there's many options here that we could use. You could uh, learn web development. You could build an online store, create web design, start a blog, and other. And since we are doing software development and we are learning, let's go ahead and click Learn Web Development question it's asking us is how can you become how can you learn how can you learn with 000webhost.com we'll click continue we're going to name our project and i'm going to choose something like nmc-css222-rogers and for the password, it's offering a password for me, but I'm going to choose my own. Click Submit. And now we need to choose our type of website. For the purposes of this class of learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we're going to be uploading our site. So click Select. OK and our site seems to be up and running. Now, we have a number of things we could do here. We could click on the link down here, and we'll open this in a new tab. And if we select it, we can see that our website is up and running. It's created a placeholder site for us. But let's go ahead and click back on the tab here for the web websites, our web list of domains. And we're gonna select Manage Website. And from here, there are a couple of things that we need to kind of pay attention to. First of all, we're going to um, look at some of the credentials for our website. And we're going to be needing this information later when we um, upload via FTP or through Visual Studio Code or even in the future, which we'll be doing all the time through our GitHub Actions. So. As you've noticed here, I've gone to Website Settings, and now I'm on Website Settings. I'm going to click on General. And what I need you to pay close attention to is this section here. You'll notice it has the host name, it has the port, it has the username, and of course, our password. And this is the password that you set up for the, for the site. Um, we need to remember this information when we go to use our Visual Studio application. Now, there's other things you could do here on this page as well. You could reset your password. Um, you could change the version of PHP that's being used. You could specify the type category. And I'm not sure what they have here, so I'm just going to change it to um, uh, education. And so we have send mail, we have errors. We have explicit content. Uh, please don't check this because uh, your NMC site will block this uh, if you happen to turn that on. Uh, then we have branding. It costs money. 
uh, and then you can repair your site, which will fix anything that you may have messed up. You can also reset your site. And once you're done, if you don't like your account name or you want to change it, uh, you go down to delete. Now, later on, when we do our projects, the course projects, you'll probably want to delete this site and then come back in and recreate it with a different hosting name. Speaking of that, let's go up here to this other link that shows the default page. Right now, the top level domain is .com. Okay, that is the root level domain that this site exists under. The domain name that's under the .com is web host app. That is the name of the company that we're using. And our subdomain is NMC CSS 222 Rogers. Now, when you create yours, you will use a different name. Do not use my name. Use your own name for creating this. Okay, let's go back to our website settings. We're going to go all the way back to My Sites. We'll again click on Manage Website. And we're going to use the File Manager. We're going to insert our site in the public HTML. Uh, this is where all the files will live for uh, our site, okay? You don't want to upload to the temp and you don't want to upload to this root directory. In order for your website to show up, it needs to be in the public HTML, okay? When we expand this on the left here, we can see that there is an HT access. Uh, in the past, I've had students who delete this. Uh, please don't delete your HT access. This relates to Apache and the configurations for um, how things are represented on this site. So do not delete that. Okay, so what we're going to do is go up to new file. We're going to type in index.html. We'll click create. And inside the index HTML, we're going to click the, first of all, make sure you have it selected. Then we're going to click the pencil to edit it. And we have a very basic editor. So I'm going to type in, um, the most basic website you can imagine at this point. This is going to start off with an HTML tag at the top. We're going to create a head. We'll create a title. We'll call this my triple zero web host domain. And this is for me NMC CSS. 222 Rogers. Okay. Uh, right after the head tag, hit enter. We're going to create a body tag. And inside this, we're going to create an H1 tag. H1 is a um, it's a text header. Okay. And we're going to say my to make this easier, let's just copy this. Copy this information here. Paste it in there. Okay. A uh, little explanation, the title tag, again, is the tag that exists at the top of the screen for the tab. So if you look at your tab, you'll see that there's some text written up there, and that is what this information is going to be. It's going to show that at the top. The H1 tag is a header tag that will exist on the website itself. All right, now we're going to create a paragraph tag. My first hosted website. Uh, maybe this is your second, so right second. Maybe you've hosted before, okay? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, my first hosted website using triplewebhost.com. Come back again because there, let's see, I'm going to hit enter here because there is going to be more to see in the future. I promise you. Okay, let me explain something here also. On this page, um, I hit enter to go down to the next line, but in order for text to actually show on the next line, you have to use a special tag and that's called a break tag. Now that I've used the break tag, I can type some follow on information. Okay, that's it for right now. We're going to save it. 
the site is there. We're going to go back up to our domain that we loaded earlier. I'm going to refresh it. And you can see that there our site is. The title matches the H1 tag, which is that big, bold piece of text here. Uh, and we have our first piece of paragraph text. And you'll notice that there is a hard line break right here because that's where we put that BR tag. There is not a hard break here because um, HTML does not respect new line characters. It only understands tags. Okay, that's it for right now. And um, hopefully that's giving you some things to think about. There's more to come. All of this we're going to build on. And I'll see you real soon. I'm <laughs> going